been wallowing in the dark for so long. You're wondering, am I ever going to get a fresh start? It's simple. Getting a fresh start is as simple as breathing in a, a new breath or deciding that you're no longer going to feed the evil inside you. The thing is, people, in general, we just want to feel like we are in control. That we're able to basically plan out our life the way we want it to be. And that's okay, and that's understandable. But in order to get a fresh start, there's some things that you got to take care of. There's some things you have to do. You have to be willing to try new things. And when I say that, I mean in a sense of, we always say, oh, I wish I can do that, or I wish I can do that, or I wish I could do this, or I wish I could speak a different language, or I can go to different places or travel, or, you know, or party or experience um, this kind of cuisine. Why don't you just do it? Just try it out. And... You know, you waste your whole life thinking about doing something and you never do it. The second thing is, don't be afraid to fail. You spend your whole life worrying, do I need to depress this person? Do I need to show them that I can do it? And then you constantly put yourself in a situation where you're not living for yourself. You're living for someone else because you're too busy worrying about how they think or how they will feel when you don't succeed. And... Everything in life is we're supposed to fail. If you don't fail, you don't learn. If you don't learn, you don't grow. And if you don't grow, then what's your purpose? What are you doing with yourself? Next, you got to be able to be willing to talk to anyone, strangers, people you don't even know. And I'm not saying like in a creepy, awkward way. I'm saying it in the terms of everyone has an experience that they project into this world. You know, and we often, you know, convey a certain lifestyle or a certain attribute. And in order for someone or anyone around us to grow, they have to understand that attribute and see it and, and maybe apply it to, to the, your own life. And you realize talking to strangers, that stranger may become your best friend. That stranger may become your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Think about it. You, the, your significant other was a stranger before you met them. So if you want to start something new or start something fresh, you just talk to a stranger. So essentially, you have to be willing to be open. And I'm not saying being vulnerable just yet, but I'm saying you have to be willing to, you know, want to meet people, want to talk to someone you don't know, and not be afraid. But the number, but I think one of the most important things is you have to be willing to change. You're talking about, oh, I want to get a fresh start. Oh, I want to start over. Oh, I want to get my life together. But if you're not willing to change or make changes to your life, what's the point of getting a fresh start? It's pointless. You know, I told myself, hey, yo, I need to lose weight. I need to get in shape. I need to get back to what I used to be. And rather than make excuses, I seeked out the resources necessary to make sure I stay on it. I did my research in nutrition. I did my research in, um, you know, the best workouts. I did my research because I, I was willing to make a change. I wanted something new. I wanted to start fresh, you know. And if you're not willing to do to make a change, then you're not really, you don't want to start over. You just want to keep wallowing in the darkness that you've been in your whole life. And it's time to get out of that. And um, also, as you're changing... Do not try to fit in. And what I mean by that is be yourself. You have your own dreams, your own goals. Do not make a change because you think someone will like it or someone will be interested in you. At the end of the day, you should be doing it for yourself. Do it for you and no one else. If you're doing it for um, you know, your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your, your wife, your husband, your significant other, you're wasting your time because you're not changing for yourself for improvement. You're changing to fit in. And sometimes fitting in is overrated. You know, you see people like Steve Jobs, uh, Bill Gates, you know, you think they were studying, oh, I need to fit into society? No, they didn't care. They're like, you know, I want to do something different that no one's done before. 
So don't try to fit in when you're trying to start fresh. Just be yourself. Be who you are and who you want to be. And basically, don't get hung up on trying to be perfect. See, we as human beings, we we strive to, for perfection. And that's something we will never attain. And it's okay. We were never meant to be perfect beings. If we were, we would not have wars. We wouldn't have disease. We wouldn't have pain, suffering. No, those are part of life. And we have to accept that. We have to understand that it's just the way life is. Does it make it right? No. Does it make it wrong? No. What it makes it is balance. What it makes it is true understanding. And when you're trying to get a fresh start, you're not seeking perfection. You're seeking improvement. You're seeking to better yourself and just the people around you, maybe. But you're doing it for a reason. You're not doing it because you're like, hey, I want to just change because I feel like it today. No, you have a purpose. You're doing it for a reason and you have an end goal in mind. And that end goal is this is where I'm at now. In two, three weeks, maybe a month, maybe even two couple of years, I'll be here. And when I reach there, I'll be satisfied. And along the way, you're going you're gonna to stumble. You're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to mess up. So don't worry about, oh man, my whole transformation was perfect. No, because when you reach that end goal and you're like, yo, my, my trials to get here were hard, they were long, but it was worth it because I reached where I want to be and I reached my idea of satisfaction, you'll be happy because you did it. And sometimes it's as simple as, you know, putting the phone down, going outside, go watch a movie. Or slowly, bit by bit, building up your social interactions. No one's saying you're going to change overnight and become a superstar. When, you, when you're looking for a fresh start and you're looking for change, you're doing it day by day. You're taking each day as it comes. And like I said before, I said I want to get a fresh start. I want to change my lifestyle to something that's more beneficial to me. I did what I had to do. And I'm still doing it. And I invite you guys to do the same. You know, I tell myself I also want to get back into making videos again. Maybe inspire someone else. Help them fight the demons that they're facing. And look, I'm recording this right now for that one reason. So when you're really ready to get a fresh start, stand up, take a deep breath, and just scream. Yeah, I said it. Just scream. Let out all the old pain, the old frustrations, the old doubts, the old anger. Let it flush it right out of your system. Let it come out of your body. Expel it out. Because this path that you're going on, though it's to enlightenment, your enlightenment, you have to let go of what's been holding you back. So, to get this fresh start that you're looking for, let go, move forward, plan, get your resources, see what you need to do, have a goal that you really want to achieve within a time span, and keep go and go go for it. If it however long you, you think it's going to take, be honest, just do it. Because we don't always get a chance to get a fresh start, and it's never too late. But then, but it reach, but it does reach a point where. Are you willing to lose everything or gain everything? And that's the choice you got to make. So, I'm glad to be back. You guys will be hearing more from me. I do not, unfortunately, I do not have a set schedule when I'll be dropping videos. I think this is more on a, a feeling basis. But there'll be a schedule. I pl I'm planning it, essentially. But yeah. If you want to get a fresh start, just get up and do it. Don't wait for me to say it. Don't wait for someone else that you love to say it. Just do it. And I hope you have a good time getting your fresh start. Thanks.